-hmm. In the previous video clip, we were looking into why are people getting defensive. We need to understand that on a deeper level. And today's video clip is about how to recognize defensiveness in other people and even in yourself. There are sometimes some visible signs of defensiveness. People are getting aggressive, they have started to blame circumstances when you give them feedback, they're even blaming colleagues and maybe even yourself, if you, especially if you are the boss. So you can see defensiveness in different ways, both in the body language, they may cross their arms and legs, they have some strange behaviors that you don't find normal with a person, or they verbally start to argue with you, even attacking you. I see. So Thomas, why is it important uh, for us to notice if someone becomes defensive? Well, if you think about it, if, if you try to take in feedback and you're not really present, uh, you're actually in so, to a certain degree gone because you're emotional, you try to protect yourself from, from these feelings that are hard. So the feedback is not really landing in you because it's important to be resistant oh, I see. and grow at the same time. I see. Okay. Mm. And what shall I do if, for example, I'm giving someone a feedback and then I see that person is suddenly becomes defensive? Well, <clears throat> like we said earlier, if you give feedback and the person is not really present with the feedback and becomes defensiveness, you need to stop, basically. Maybe you just need to acknowledge what you're seeing, put in words to it. I notice it's hard for you right now. Please tell me what, what, what is happening inside you. Or sometimes you may need to continue on, even if the person is emotional, because emotions are more just reactions. And when people are emotional, remember, you don't need to fix anything. You just need to be present with the person. If you're present, the emotions will die down. Don't try to argue with emotions. Just be present. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. I have a last question. Mm -hmm. uh, how do I recognize defensiveness in myself? In yourself? It's a very good question, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Because it's easier I to want see to grow. other people, people. Yes. So in the conversation, if you start to feel uncomfortable, maybe even emotional, you maybe want to close off from the person, having distance. These are signs. If you start to lose focus, that you really can't hear clearly what the person is saying to you, that's also signs of defensiveness. And if you start to argue with the person, blaming, and you feel like you're getting resistance inside you towards the person, you are defensive yourself. Oh, I see. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Thomas. Thank you. I just want to say one more thing here. So if you are <clears throat> noticing that you are defensive, that's the trick. Because if you just start to notice, oh, I'm resistance, I'm defensive, then the resistance will start to disappear. So if you summarize it, the most important thing is to recognize right now defensiveness in yourself and step by step it will be easier for you outing to recognize defensiveness in others thank you thank you teacher bye bye <laughs>